In this clip, we will show you how to close a production order and view the relationship map generated in the production process. All stages of our production order are now complete and we have processed the report completion transaction. We can now change the status of the production order to closed to indicate that this production order is now complete. To look at the relationship map, we simply right click on the production order. By double clicking on the issue for production, it allows us to review all of the individual issues for production documents that were created throughout the process. From the production order, we can see four issue for production documents, and these reflect one for the assembly, two for the sticky metal, and one generated automatically from report completion for backflush items. We also have one receipt for production document. This reflects the final product and byproduct. Note that there is a dotted line from the receipt from production to one of these issue for productions. This represents all of the components and resources that had an issue method of backflush. From here, we can easily drill down into the production order. We can also see the sales order, which was linked to our production order, and we've got a direct link to the business partner that purchased the customized laptop. We can also change the view to show the related components for this production order. To do this, we scroll down and change from production tree to related components. The item components and resources are all bunched up. Again, we can double click on the item components and resources, which allows us to break them apart to show the various inputs to this production order. And we can easily drill down into any one of these item components. We have now demonstrated how to close a production order and view the relationship map generated, which outlines all of the production documents created during the production process.